While most of the automotive industry has its eye set on battery electric vehicles, there are still a few players that believe fuel cells have a part to play in the electrified future. Toyota and BMW are here to prove that. Over at the Toyota European newsroom, development starts on prototype hydrogen fuel cell Hilux. If you're new to the channel, this is Kirky Cars. Of course, I am Kirk himself, and I talk about electrified vehicles from fuel cells to battery electrics and hybrids as well. So make sure you're subscribed, hit the bell icon, and let's get the ball rolling here. Toyota Manufacturing UK to receive funding from the UK government through the Advanced Repulsion Center for zero emissions vehicle development. Project specifically covers the development of hydrogen fuel cell powered prototype Toyota Hilux. Now, if you're an American and you don't know what the Hilux is, the Hilux is essentially the global version of the Toyota Tacoma. It's a little bit different, a little bit smaller. Most markets receive diesel engines, but it's very much the global Tacoma, if you want to think of it that way. Toyota's latest second-gen fuel cell technology will be used for the transformation. I drove this second-gen system in the Toyota Mirai, well, the sedan, beautiful second-gen variant of the Toyota Mirai. One of Toyota's best cars, it just runs on a fuel that is unobtainium, which is hydrogen. But that's in the current market. Hopefully in the future, more hydrogen will be available for consumers around the world. And here is a cool little diagram of how this is going to shake out. We have three fuel cell tanks here. If we look at the Mirai, it has three tanks. The previous one, I think, just had two. You have a tiny one in the trunk or below the trunk. You have a tiny one underneath the rear seat. And then you have one in what would traditionally be a drive shaft. Now, what it looks like as we move this aside, they're taking the big tank from the Mirai, multiplying it by three. And so the Mirai as it is, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the limb and say it's gonna have about 30% more capacity for fuel, hydrogen fuel, than the Mirai. So the Mirai can get 600 miles of range or so, best case scenario. Let's be a little bit more conservative. Let's say it gets 400 miles of range, but it's a very aerodynamic car, I think. This Hilux, depending on the situation, could get 400 to 500 miles of range as well. This looks to be the lithium ion battery, kind of works as a buffer. Here's the E axle in the back to power the rear wheel. So it will be rear wheel drive. Doubt it would be uh, all wheel drive, to be honest, because it's it's borrowing essentially the Mirai's system here. I would expect a rear wheel drive, no option of all wheel drive. The initial prototypes will be built in Toyota Motor UK and the Berniston. Well, and I, I don't know. I could be saying that wrong as a, a non-traveled American. Berniston in 2023. So next year, we'll have the, the Mirai inside of essentially a Toyota Hilux, which is pretty cool. Now, we're going to switch gears over to BMW. BMW commences production of small series hydrogen powered model. We've known about this vehicle as the iX5 hydrogen vehicle, and it's beginning production. We knew it would start in 2022, and now it is beginning in Munich. Test fleet will go into service worldwide spring of 2023. What I find interesting is that these small product, well, small batch production vehicles is coming from two different companies at the same time for Europe. So there's a big push for electrification and electrification diversification, including hydrogen in Europe. BMW and Toyota have worked together in the past to bring forth new technology with hydrogen. So I look forward to that partnership continuing to build together and advancing that technology so the customers have an option in the future that's just not battery electric because a one solution future makes no sense. In our current market, we have all sorts of solutions and I think the future will have many solutions as well. Another EV news, uh, Tesla is delivering its semi truck. They showed a model where it got 500 miles of range to a destination fully loaded. That's a lot of batteries. And I think hydrogen is a better, a better fit for mass transit in the future. Also in Tesla news, the Model Y and Model 3 get discounts for uh, the US in December. Think of it as like a Christmas present from Elon Musk. So going over the Tesla website, before any um, incentives, the vehicle is 46,990. 
And until the end of this year, it is still available for, well, it is available because it wasn't for years. They already ran out of their tax credits, but then they came up, the government came up with a new tax credit system that's very confusing. And it reinstated Tesla, at least until the end of the year, you will be able to get 7,500 bucks if you buy a Tesla right now, which is not a bad deal. If you click the potential savings, I mean, it says 40,000, but I think it would be even less than that. Uh, if you were able to snag one here in December, because here's the crazy thing. If you don't get it delivered in December, I don't know how that money's up because January 2nd, I think is when it takes place is the full on tax credit where not only does a vehicle need to be made in America, like the model three is, but the materials and the battery and the minerals also need to be sourced from the right country. So it's very confusing. And I will eventually make a video on this here on the channel, probably make a spreadsheet to make better sense of it. But I'll see you guys down below. Are you interested in hydrogen at all? Do you think it's just too unrealistic? I, it's hard for me to get excited about it because I know that the infrastructure is just so far away from being where like the gasoline infrastructure is right now. It's a lot easier for me to get excited about battery electric vehicles or plug-in hybrids or even normal hybrids as battery technology evolves. The solid state batteries are supposed to be going into hybrids, at least from Toyota's in as early as 2025. And that's really going to change the, the entire automotive industry, whoever gets out with solid state batteries first. So that's gonna be cool and definitely stay tuned. I got a lot of news to share and I'm just getting started on this channel. I've already talked to BMW. They will be sending me their electrified models. So I can't wait to share my impressions of them because I actually, man, I can't tell you the last time I drove a BMW because my main channel, if you haven't checked it out, Kirk Rifles, focuses mainly on Japanese and Korean cars. So this is allowing me to expand into uh, just more opportunities for me and to have a little bit of fun talking about the electrified future. But I'll see you down below. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves and peace out.